our way to Nevada. I'm gonna go down and hunt deer with my brother. I don't have a tag, but I told him I'd come down and try to help him kill a deer. Got, uh, looks like about nine hours left of our drive. Been on the road since uh, 3.30ish this morning. It's seven o'clock now. Got a little ways to go, but sun just about coming up. Looking beautiful this morning. My GPS got jokes and thinks this is the loneliest road in America. We've almost arrived here to Nevada. Gonna hunt this uh, desolate desert for muley. Hopefully find my brother a nice muley buck. That's right. Got to be doing something on this trip. Couple deer this morning. Five already. No bucks though. Really need to get a phone scout. So I can just click the phone to the spotting scope here. Got to capture the fall if I can. Five deer so far this morning. Look at that tight little canyon down there. I think there's deer down there. Nice buck bedded inside that tree line. This little flat bottom down here. So I'm going to hunt in the open country. Cover miles and minutes. Crew and tow back there. We've got three bucks spotted. One little guy, two really nice mule deer. Especially, especially for my brother's first muley buck. He's moving down, closing the distance. Right now they're 800 yards. That's way out of his comfort zone, where he's probably cut 200 yards off. Just drop behind the ridge over here. Alright, Ryan's moving in on the deer down there. We're, uh, we've lost sight of it. It's gone behind the ridge from us. And he's working his way up. That ridge, and hopefully he'll look into the backside and shoot that deer. What do you think, Buster? I think your dad's gonna shoot that buck. Which one? The big one, or the little one? The big one. All right, I like it. All right, man. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't bust him out. Deer went behind this ridge from us here, so we saw him back here in this draw. There's a trough back here that came through here. Went behind this ridge. Did you catch the elusive trouser snake there? Yes, I did. Yeah. 
that on camera, didn't you? Yep. Huh? Yes, I did. Nick, buddy. Thanks for dinner tonight. It's that elk, jalapeno and cheddar elk sausage. Tacos. Sour cream, guacamole. How do you guys think? Awesome. Just about shooting light. Trees, the top there. There's a cluster of trees here. He's in that uh, rightmost juniper right there. Right there. He just bumped some does out of that tree. Now he's hanging out. I'm waiting for him to either move come down or stay there and put a stock on him. So what do you think? Well, we got two bucks. Yep, coming due. And we're just trying to figure out whether they're going to stay there, move, or we're going to... I think that doe just... Oh, she's coming down the hill. Yeah, let's do this. If they come down towards us, that would be perfect. Just let them come. That would work. We can kill them at like 300 yards down here. Spotted. And now working back to the vehicle. Gonna go check out another area. Looks like I'm wearing lipstick because my lips are so chapped. I've had a desert. Probably 85 today. Hot. Just working our way back. Here they come. One by one. I feel like a guide. Come on, Grandpa. Last day of the hunt. Three bucks total. 
We didn't catch one of them coming up over the top here. Get a shot at it. Bucks are on this ridge, backside of this ridge here. And I'm looking at them, like I said, through the spot and scope. Uh, one nice 4x4, four four, I think a 3x3. Three three. There's a doe with them too, and a little 4x4. Four four. But if they come up over into this sun at all, mine's down there. Get these trees right here. You should have a 300 yard shot. He's just behind the ridge from me. And uh, hopefully we can get this buck killed here. Not just tag. It will be his first mule deer in Nevada. And he lives down here now. So hopefully I think this buck is going to be coming out here any minute. He's got a log though. He's got to get on the other side of this log. I don't know if the DSLR can view through the spotting scope or not. Maybe I'll give that a try. Hopefully Ryan can get this buck. Alright, holding the phone to the spotting scope here. God, he should be almost able to see that buck. coming keep coming that other deer is also a little buck we're not picky any buck will do any buck will do see him. Oh, he's going back down the ridge. Nice shot. Nice shot. <laughs> hey, he's down, buddy. He's getting up. He's getting up. Hold on. He's down. Hit him. Wait, wait. He's still moving. You got a round in? If you can, no, hold off, I think he's dead. I think he is. 
He's still moving a little bit, but just wait. I got eyes on him. Oh, I got him. He's he's in that slide basically. Ryan, I just got the camera on the deer right as you pulled the trigger. Either way, he's fucking dead. He ain't going very far. He's down. I don't see him moving anymore. Fuck yeah, buddy. Fuck yeah. Was that about a 400 yard shot? Roughly? Probably about 400 yards. One fucking shot. One fucking shot. Got him, man. You got him? Yes. He's still picking his head up. He's going to get up. He's trying to get up. Okay, I see him now. You see him? Oh, he's rolling. He's trying. I'd put another one in him. He's trying to climb that hill. Overshot. Huh? Overshot him. Hold right on. Here we go. Same spot, he just fell down the hill a little bit. He's hurt pretty bad. He's now laying again. He's got a lot of blood on his ass end. Yeah, I saw that. I almost asked if he Texas heart shot him. He was fucking broadside to me. Was he? Yeah. I was looking through the camera trying to find him and like as soon as I stopped on the deer in the open, it was like boom shot. I was like, no fucking way. I didn't even know you were going to shoot yet. And he fucking dropped. He know? did, dropped and rolled. His head's still up, like he's not up, but his head isn't down yet. I don't think he's going anywhere. You see him? Yeah, I see him. Okay. I don't know if I'd fire. If he gets up, I will again, but otherwise... Yeah. He just might need a little bit. He's trying, man. Yep, there he stood. Not for very long. His ass is facing you, though. Oh, there, hold on. Now he's broadside. Overshot. Hi? Yeah, hi. Hold on, his ass is facing you. Yeah, I know. I'm on you. Now you're good. Oh. Looks like you broke that back leg, or he broke that back leg. There, you got him. Dead. Yeah, he's fucking dead. There's an eagle in the hill. He's down. And he's right there in the fucking bottom. <laughs> Good, because that was my last shot. Oh, you didn't bring extra, did you? No, they're in my pack over there with Luke. Oh, well, he wouldn't yeah. go very far to... Oh, man, my ass hurts. Fuck yeah. Last day. He's belly up. He's dead. He's fucking dead. <sighs> In. Four casings right here. And I got all four of my cases. <laughs> there he is, right white belly right there. Fuck yes. yes. Woo! Don't need to be quiet oh. now. <laughs> and he's nice. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, boys. <laughs> awesome, bro. Good job. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you guys were going to get down here fast enough or not when they stood up. Hey, look, there goes another one. You see them? Up, up the ridge, walking off. Yeah, they really don't, didn't care about the gunfire too much, did they? Not at all. That first shot might have killed him, but it's better sure to put dead. a second one in him to fully yeah, finish him off. Yeah, to just yeah, he was trying too hard to get up and move. Yeah. And I don't really like fighting deer on the ground. I don't know where that first shot exactly hit him, but... <laughs> you dropped him like a rock and he rolled. I so. wonder if I broke his back, that first shot. I don't know, because he was getting up too much. Well, he, well, might, but he, he wasn't using his hind legs. He wasn't, yeah. So you might have broke his spine. There goes the deer across the, yep. the other three. The other three. And we got the biggest of the group, huh? Four. Four? There's a fourth one going. Oh, I never saw that one. Hmm. Buck. 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 I think they're all bucks. I think that first one's just a little spike. I bet you this is the same group we seen the first day. Mm -hmm. I think it is. I think I think they bed, Ryan. They bed right against these rocks. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where they were bedded when they jumped up. Yep. I was looking for them, looking for them, never saw them. 
and all of a sudden I heard and saw one bust down. They must have heard me come in here, mm -hmm. and they got nervous. And then I just, I was so fucking like, I'm all like yeah, peeking. I, I, I watch you, it's like, okay, he sees him. He's sitting down, he's breaking up, spotting scope, he sees him. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, the spotting scope, I already had out before I even knew they were there. I was like doing this around the spotting scope with my binoculars. Uh -huh. And I kept checking the wind because I was like, it was swirling a little bit. Yep. Let's get up, up there for that bad. Send it to me or something. Oh, I'll send you the whole thing, buddy. Fuck yeah. Third morning and we got one. You're stoked right now, aren't you? Yes. How stoked are you, uh, Ryan? I'm fucking amazed. Fucking amazed. First fucking weekend and we are connecting. A little uh, extra couple rounds just in case there. I don't think we're going to need him. I don't think so either. He's still laying over there belly up. These Normandy whitetails did a fucking amazing job. Good round. You trying to get a sponsorship over there? Or? <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Brothers hunting. Palmer hunting or whatever we want to call it. Palmer outdoors. Locking in on this deer. Ryan made a... Excellent. Couple of shots. I don't think he's moving, buddy. He's his belly's in the air. Yeah. All right, a couple more for us. I don't think I took any with Casper in, on your phone here. Oh, well, it's slow. I got to make sure I didn't move. Uh, it's decent. Don't worry about it. However they turn out, they oh, turn out. Get one like this so you can have it as your... I'm, I'm so used to doing this, but this was for your profile picture. Yep. Or like your background, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Turn his head a little bit so we can see his horns. A little bit more. So like, it's sideways to us, right? There you go. A little too much though, right there. Point his chin down. Hey, you got it. Alright, now let me get some with this. Got a buck success. My first fucking pack out here. <laughs> My fat fucking ass. Backing out of fucking deer. These guys. I got three quarters. He's got one and a head. And Casper's got some of this meat. Hey, you got the back straps and tender voids and all that, too. Huh? Oh, he does. I just have three quarters. Oh, he took the tender voids? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. unless there's some... I don't know. Is yeah, there other... Extra meat bags, I don't fucking know. Is there what was in all in that big bag? I know at least two quarters were in there. As far as like just two quarters in that one. Okay, and I think the other one just had a quarter in it. I think he's got the back straps and, and the tender, tender lines, lines the like, two loose meat bags. Okay, so yeah, he probably got those. Get out of here before whatever storm's brewing on. Three o'clock right now. Can we make it back to the camp before five? We're gonna make a push for it. Let's do it. <laughs> well, throw it over the ground then. Hot. Back out. Having fun, Casper? Yeah. How much meat you got? A couple pounds. A couple pounds? You want to put my backpack on? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. We'll fit it for you, too. No. Damn it. I tried. Doing the good work over here. Oh, it's talking to Casper. Huh? He didn't even hear me. Up, up, and away. <sighs> Who feel feels miserable? Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't worried about knitting it. Oh. I tried to get Casper to take my pack. He doesn't want to. No. Nope. Come on, please. No. Okay. I tell you what. You want to pack the horns or give you mine? <laughs> we'll get some cool pictures of you. What do you think? Nah, I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Almost worked. I tell you what, you come to Idaho, I'll load you up heavy. Yeah. Uh, one elk quarter. By that uh, time, he's going to be able to pack us both out because he's going to be prepared for it. I hope so. I convinced Casper. 
my nephew here to give my pack a go. He's doing pretty good. He's got three deer quarters. A little bit? Yeah. Maybe not a little bit. <laughs> I think this is less weight than my everyday pack. Uh, how you doing, bro? Oh yeah. We can chug it when we get to the saddle. Cause it's downhill from there. Or at least flat. You can keep chucking if you want to go Get to that trough and sit down. <laughs> or if you want to me to take it back. <laughs> well, yeah, they're gonna hurt. His legs. Unfortunately, this EXO is probably a little big for you. That's the name of that backpack. Exo Mountain Gear. Hey, I see the tire. It's right there, you see it? Our destination's that rubber tire. And then we gotta climb. Oh yeah. The real climb has begun, huh, Casper? Yep. Oh, there he is. You got yours recording, huh? What's that? You got yours recording? Yeah. Oh, the end's in sight. Never looks so good. What do you think, Casper? Beautiful. Hold that up. I ain't gonna fall in one. Oh, that was close. No hey, one. give the people what they want. They want to see you fall. <laughs> <laughs> With the clouds in the background. Oh fuck! That's a bit, gonna be a nice video out of here. Now. Well, we did it, brother. We're at the road. Yes, we did. Fucking amazing, brother. Amazing trip. Well, boys, we did it. Yes, we did. Back to the truck. And it can't fool me. Hop, skip, and a jump. Yep. Process and get the hell out of here. I don't know if I'll pick up camp on the... Down there. <laughs> Just a little ways. But we're in the truck now, so it don't matter. Oh, well, killed him over there, somewhere. <laughs> Way over.